Death is an inevitable part of life, yet the mechanisms and strange phenomena associated with it are often more complex and fascinating than we realize. From post-mortem bodily functions to the strange chemistry that continues even after a person has died, here are 10 incredible and lesser-known facts about death that will surprise you. 1. The body can still move after death. After death, it seems logical to assume the body becomes completely still, but it can still exhibit movement. The key factor here is post-mortem muscle spasms caused by residual nerve impulses and chemical activity. These spasms can cause a corpse to twitch or jerk unexpectedly, which is particularly unsettling in situations like a mortuary or hospital room. These movements can occur in the first few hours after death, during primary flaccidity, before rigor mortis sets in. As cells lose their energy supply, adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, calcium builds up in the muscles, causing them to contract and stiffen. Once decomposition begins, rigor mortis eventually passes, allowing for more subtle movements as the body relaxes and gases build up. Beyond muscle spasms, it's common for bodies to expel air from the lungs as they are moved or manipulated, leading to what sounds like groaning or moaning. This phenomenon, while completely natural, can be frightening for anyone nearby who doesn't expect it. 2. You may still hear after death. Though death is defined by the absence of heartbeat and brain activity, Recent studies suggest that a person may retain the ability to hear even after their heart stops. Research conducted at the University of British Columbia found that in the moments immediately following cardiac arrest, brain waves recorded on an electroencephalogram (EEG) indicated signs of auditory processing. This discovery, particularly in near-death patients, suggests that the human brain takes time to fully shut down, and hearing might persist during this phase. In some cases, patients who survived cardiac arrest reported hearing conversations or environmental sounds during their death experience. This period can last several seconds to minutes, hinting at a more complex interaction between death and consciousness than previously thought. 3. The Corpse Explosion Phenomenon Exploding corpses are not a macabre fiction, but an actual phenomenon caused by the buildup of gases, particularly methane, as a body decomposes. This process is a result of putrefaction, where bacteria break down soft tissues, releasing gases that accumulate in the body's cavities. In situations where a body is enclosed in a sealed space, like a coffin or crypt, without adequate ventilation, these gases can create extreme pressure. If not released, they can cause the body to rupture, sometimes violently. This process can even push fluids out of orifices, leading to a site that may be mistaken for bleeding. Modern coffins are often equipped with pressure release valves to prevent such gruesome events particularly in crypts and mausoleums. Historical cases of corpse explosions have been recorded, especially during plagues when mass graves and tight quarters increased the likelihood of such occurrences. Sometimes, this has led to the unsettling destruction of tombs or coffins due to the sheer pressure from gas buildup. 4. After death, you can turn into stone. The process of saponification, where a corpse turns into a waxy, stone-like substance, is both rare and fascinating. This occurs when the body's fat tissue transforms into a soap-like substance called adipocere. For saponification to occur, the environment must be just right, cool, wet, and airless. Such conditions are found in certain burial sites, bogs, or even damp crypts, where bacteria break down fat cells, causing this soap-like transformation. Adipocere can preserve a body in a near-perfect state for centuries. A well-known example is the soap lady from the 19th century whose body was found to have turned into a deposier after being buried in a moist and oxygen-deprived grave. The body of La Doncella, a perfectly preserved Inca girl found in the Andean mountains, is another striking example where low temperatures naturally preserve the body for over 500 years. 5. The dead outnumber the living. It's easy to overlook the sheer number of people who have lived and died before us. An estimated 100 billion humans have walked the Earth since the dawn of civilization around 200,000 years ago. Compared to the current global population of around 8 billion, this means that for every living person today, roughly 15 people have died. The rate at which the dead accumulate far exceeds the birth rate over the vast span of history, particularly before the advent of modern medicine. For most of human existence, life expectancy was shockingly low, around 30 years due to disease, starvation, and high infant mortality. Although the global population is larger than ever now, the dead remain vastly more numerous. This overwhelming number of deceased has interesting cultural, social, and even philosophical implications, shaping how societies view death, the afterlife, and remembrance. 6. Dead bodies can make sounds. Postmortem sounds are an unnerving but completely natural part of the decomposition process. As bacteria begin breaking down the body's tissues, gases are produced. These gases, trapped in the body, need to escape, and they often do so through the airways. 
As air is forced through the vocal cords, it can produce sounds such as moans, groans, or even high-pitched squeaks. While the vocalizations are rare and fleeting, they have been noted by medical professionals in morgues, hospitals, or funeral homes. The presence of such sounds can easily contribute to myths of hauntings or the supernatural, especially in cultures where death rituals involve close contact with the deceased. 7. Rigor mortis doesn't last forever. Rigor mortis is the stiffening of the muscles after death due to biochemical changes in muscle tissues. It is one of the most well-known signs of death, typically setting in around 2 to 4 hours after the heart stops. It peaks around 12 hours as the muscles completely stiffen due to the depletion of ATP, energy needed for muscle relaxation. After rigor mortis peaks, the process reverses as decomposition breaks down the muscle tissues. This is known as secondary flaccidity, and the muscles gradually lose their stiffness. This process can take another 12 to 48 hours depending on the environment, temperature, and other factors affecting decomposition. During this phase, the body becomes limp again as bacterial activity begins to take over, leading to full decomposition. 8. You can die from being scared to death. Though it sounds like a cliché from horror movies, death by fright is a real medical condition. Extreme terror can lead to sudden cardiac death via a massive adrenaline surge, which can trigger ventricular fibrillation, a severe type of arrhythmia. This phenomenon, known as psychogenic death, occurs when overwhelming psychological stress causes fatal cardiac arrest. Historical reports suggest that prisoners of war or people under extreme emotional trauma have suffered heart failure simply from fear. In modern medicine, the term Takatsubo cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome describes a condition where severe emotional or physical stress causes the heart to weaken and potentially fail, mimicking a heart attack. 9. A body can decompose in 24 hours under certain conditions. Though most bodies take days or even weeks to fully decompose, under the right conditions, decomposition can be almost instantaneous. In hot, humid environments, decomposition speeds up dramatically. Bacteria flourish in warm conditions, breaking down soft tissues rapidly. At the other extreme, in arid desert climates or in cases of mummification, bodies can dry out before they fully decompose, preserving skin and hair for years. In environments with scavengers, insects, and other natural decomposers, bodies can be stripped of flesh within hours. Modern forensic science has used these variables to better understand decomposition rates in different climates, aided in criminal investigations. 10. Death can spread like a wave across cells. Death isn't a single moment, but a biological process that unfolds over time. Scientists have discovered what they call the death wave, a sequence of molecular changes that sweep across the body's cells following death. It begins with the failure of the brain and heart, followed by a cascade of organ and tissue shutdowns. In particular, a key discovery was that calcium ions trigger this wave of cell death. When the cells can no longer regulate calcium, they essentially implode, causing cellular functions to cease and initiating decomposition. This process can take hours, and researchers have studied it extensively to better understand how to preserve organs for transplant. Conclusion Death, while inevitable, is far from simple. From post-mortem movements and the continuation of biological processes to strange phenomena like corpse explosions and turning into stone, the science behind death is both chilling and awe-inspiring. Understanding these facts about death not only changes how we think about dying but also underscores the fascinating complexity of the human body even in its final moments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.